Europe for decades. With the cities under siege, schools, hospitals and residential buildings shelled, reckless actions around a nuclear power plant last night, and many civilians killed or wounded. The days to come are likely to be worse, with more death, more suffering, and more destruction. As the Russian armed forces bring in heavier weaponry and continue their attacks across the country. At our meeting today, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Koleba addressed his NATO counterparts. And allies expressed their solidarity and deep respect for the courage of the Ukrainian people and armed forces. We had warned for many months that President Putin was intent on invading Ukraine. That is why NATO allies made tireless efforts to find a diplomatic solution. At the same time, we made clear that Russia would pay a very high price for renewed aggression against Ukraine. Russia is paying that price now.